Hi, I'm Monica, and today you are going to learn about destiny. What is destiny exactly? So I have contradictory information from different sources, and that has created more confusion than clarity. So in today's session, I'm going to channel a being who is the best match to answer this question about destiny. So before I go into my questions, here's a little bit of backdrop so that you know what we are going to cover today. So from a uh, channeler like Daryl Amka, who channels, Bas who channels Bashar, I had learned that we always are shifting into different parallel realities and nothing is really fixed, like nothing is like predestined. Uh, so we can create our own reality, we are in our control. At the same time, he also talks about template level blueprint it's like a structure which is similar to the physical life and it kind of maps out how your life is going to play out and that you can change that in your lucid dreams so that kind of created the confusion that if there is a structure that's going to play out then isn't pre destiny predestined so how is it like we have free will or freedom at the same time, I also read from Grandmaster Chua Kok Sui's book, Achieving Oneness with Higher Soul, that before the soul is conceived into a body, it is planted with the physical permanent seed, which is planted in the physical heart for every person. And it contains the blueprint of the physical body as well as how the life is going to play out, which is kind of is like the destiny of a person and what they are going to go through. So that really makes me feel like if destiny is already fixed, then do we even have free will? Is like our fate sealed. And yet if there is free will, then what's the point in having these template level blueprints or even the physical permanent seed? Like how is this paradox of destiny as well as the free will working out together? Because source is a paradox pretty much everything in the universe exists as a paradox. So this is one paradox that I want to solve today. So let's see which being comes through and clears my answers to this question. Good evening. I am Green Tara and today I'm going to talk about what is destiny. Now your confusion is pretty valid as to how can a paradox coexist if you have complete and total free will to create whatever you wish to every moment then what is the need to have a structure of what you are going to experience so here's the thing since you are source and you contain everything when you are choosing to be born as a human in a physical life what you are choosing to experience is a specific aspect of you. You are trying to live a specific theme that you already contain. And that specific theme is differentiated or in other sense separated from the other things that you already contain within you from the oversoul perspective. So you can view yourself in different layers as a higher self perspective as your physical perspective or the oversoul's perspective 
So speaking from the over soul's perspective, which creates the other souls and your parallel versions of you that exist, from the over soul's point of view, it wants to experience each and every aspect of it individually so that it can know itself who it is as a whole. So by understanding itself as the parts that it contains, it understands itself as who it is when you combine all the parts, the overarching theme that all these parts when put together mean. So when you are taking birth, you are choosing to experience one theme of yours from your oversoul perspective or even your higher self perspective. You want to experience a very specific theme and that requires you to focus, narrow down your focus only on anything and everything that is relevant for that theme and leave out the rest. This individuation and narrowing down causes the fragmentation, creates the individual ego that you know as your physical self. So your physical self is a narrowed down, condensed aspect of the greater whole that the source wanted to experience experientially to understand who it is as that part, as that thing, to live through that thing, that part of it, that person, to experience whole of life from that individual perspective. So you have an individual perspective which is unique and only relevant for you. Every person's perspective is different and unique. No two persons experience thoughts or perspective is exactly the same. If it was same, they wouldn't exist because source wouldn't create a duplicate so as to speak. So now that you understand this, extrapolate this into your life in terms of how it plays out, plays out as your destiny. So when you are choosing to have this very specific theme or aspect of you or source, then you are choosing this very specific personality or characteristics to play out that theme because that theme is only relevant and makes sense and is connected to a specific kind of personality construct. So, when you are physicalizing, you are given a specific personality construct where you think in a specific way, you feel in a specific way, you believe certain things in a specific way. And then, when you live your life, when you are born, when you start experiencing life from your unique perspective by being who you are. And because you have a specific personality construct and specific way of thinking, you will be making very unique kind of choices in your life based on the circumstances that you are going to create your, for yourself to experience that thing. So your entire life is like unfurling the various aspects that you contain at a micro level, like in more detailed level, to discover more of who you are from the small individuated aspect of you. So even you as a human contain parts and each part has a personality. And these parts manifest when you behave in different way, in different situations. 
and thus this is how you get to know more about yourself oh i can behave like this in this situation i did not even know i could behave like this oh i can do this i did not know that i had this capability so in this manner in this way you discover what you contain and your life is meant to bring out whatever you contain so that you can see yourself grow change and discover more of who you are so what you used to believe at one point of time is not going to be the same after a few years because you have grown you have learned new things about yourself so that original point of view was more limited because you had not fully discovered yourself so the older you go grow the more you discover yourself and the more perspectives you form about life so what is life life is source so it's like seeing source from outside as to what source is and also experiencing itself as source and observing source so here source or god is the observer and the observee you are source and what you are observing is also source so you are looking at yourself from your point of view a different point of view because each moment of growth each moment you are growing in each moment you are changing and you are becoming a slightly different version of you you are getting to know yourself a little bit more by observing the outside whatever perspective or observations you are making about life is coming from within because of your specific personality construct and that is why your point of view about life your perspective about life will never be the same for somebody else and that is exactly what souls want to experience how would it feel like to think like you to feel like you to live like you so now that you understand this concept this is crucial to understand how destiny unfolds since you are going to make very specific decisions based on your personality preferences choices whatever what i have you then in a given situation your actions will allow you to discover who you are because you are going to act spontaneously based on who you believe who you are from an unconscious level and this personality construct is created at the unconscious level this is not something you consciously are aware of always until you start doing more personal development and spiritual growth because you are going to make specific decisions hence the kind of life you are going to lead becomes you can say predictable like a person who is hard working will choose a life of hard work hence it kind of becomes predictable that this is the kind of life choices and decisions this person is going to make until they choose to change or evolve or develop if that is what they wish to experience in their life theme hence the life theme also kind of becomes a predictable course as you can see the path that you are going to take is you because the path that you are creating for yourself because of who you are and what decisions you make is very unique to you so the path becomes you and you become the path so your destiny is nothing but but how you are going to act out your future they are not separate things they are intermeshed so this is the paradox since you are a personality construct you can make any decisions you can evolve and change in billions of different way that's why there are billions of different parallel reality versions of you that exist and hence you can become any parallel version of you any moment of time based on 
whatever you wish. So this is where the free will comes into picture. Despite having a specific personality construct, you can make a billion different choices and there can be variations of your personality evolving and growing. So, hence, your destiny is in the sense not really fixed because despite being a specific personality, you can make billion different choices. So, there are billion different destinies that you have. But which choices are you going to make? that is flexible for you and based on your current vibration based on who you are at this moment there are certain predictable choices you may make in the immediate future that is why it is easier to predict an immediate future than a long-term future because the probability of you making a specific kind of choices are higher for a shorter future range based on where you are right now versus you growing and evolving in the longer term. Hence, your future in that sense, at least in the long term, is really not fixed. However, your future in the shorter term, like tomorrow or the day after or maybe the next seven days or even maybe the next month or a couple of months, might be more or less pretty fixed unless you make some drastic changes in yourself as a person then you can shift immediately to a completely different version and a completely different destiny of you the next day or the next month this is what most people who do therapy or who do coaching experience when they do some breakthroughs they instantly change to a very different version of them because of the enlightenment of the realization that happens in the session, in the moment. That is how they can create drastic changes even at a short moment's notice because they themselves personally have changed. So you do have free will and at the same time you don't. This is the paradox. You can continue to be on the path that you have set for yourself if you do not wish to change. However, change is the only constant. So the question is, in which way will you change? How drastic the change is going to be? What kind of changes are you going to make? Is it going to be conscious or is it going to be an autopilot? Because changes in autopilot doesn't seem to be more larger or drastic than conscious changes that you make about your life. So I hope that clears your question about whether destiny is fixed or whether it is changeable. And I hope that you make good use of this information to decide how you are going to live your life. Your destiny depends on each step and decision that you make on a daily basis based on who you are at that moment. So the moment you change who you are at that moment consciously, your destiny shifts, your destiny changes. Good day. That was amazing actually.